So where are we? Right, so off camera, I did all this. So I did that. <coughs> You've seen me do that before, so there's no point showing that again. So now what I need to do is... <coughs> It's all that blue stuff down there, round here, down there, and down there. <coughs> Need to get all that off, tape all the little holes up so all these little mountain holes and fixings get this blue stuff off, which I've already said. And then start the second part of the mould. So this will be one piece in here. The other side, obviously the other piece. <coughs> and we'll bolt them together. We'll get this off first. This is interesting, should I bring you back when I've got something interesting to show you? This is a bit interesting. So those little bits of filleting wax that I put in. To give us a lock. You can see that. So instead of like I said, relying on the bolts and nuts to hold in the right place, we've got now got a nice little divot. That's a good word. That will lock the mould in place, and the bolts just clamp it all. I'll have to do a bit of work on these seams just to get them level with the bumper again. Pain in the arse, but it'll be worth it in the end. A good size lock. What should I do in there now is I'll just take the edge out a little bit and give that a bit of a radius on the outside edge. Then we won't get any undercuts because there's a bit of a step on that and it'll just end up breaking the mould on the edge or I won't be able to get the damn thing apart so yeah we'll do that so I've cleaned all these edges up oh, excuse me <clears throat> um, just cut these bits of pipe 
to go over these spikes or lining pegs, I think most of them probably refer to those. I shall glass around all of this, then that will leave me the fixing holes and these bolts. I've got another bit of tube. That came on the on the bump originally. So we'll leave those on there. I might just put some something in the end. We shouldn't have a problem, but and put a flange on the back of that and go up so go up here and make all that one one piece yeah that should do it I don't know why that wasn't recording but oh, I do I didn't press the button so what would what we've got going on here is this is just sticky wax strip, so sticky one side, not the other. So I just buy that in sheets, and then to make a seam up, I just cut it and you can warm it just enough in your hands really just to form it into the shape you want. So that will give us a nice return and then I'll be able to see this edge when we're done so I can cut it. I need to put a bit more on there just to lift that step up a little bit, make that level. Um, I'm just doing over that side there now. Right, let's you guys back up to speed. So there we go. I've got all the wax on. <laughs> Not wax on, wax off. Uh, so focus there we go so just a little bit of sealer to go down the edges there that's okay I'm not that bothered about these bits here it's only just to hold the glass in place so I've got an edge to lay up onto I'm going to be cutting back to this line here anyway so all this doesn't really matter I just need it there for making the mould so we're all all okay here around there and down the other side now what I need to do is just these little these little bits here just fill those in and round these bits then the mountain hole I think that one that one around they're the ones that hold it to the car which put a bit of something in there, a bit of wax in there, just press my thumb in just to leave a little indent and get all this waxed up hopefully we can get some gel coat on it today what an idiot just recorded all over a photo so yeah right the um all the white stuff decorated his cork I know who'd have thought a guy messaged me on my last video after I put all that yellow filleting wax on saying that his, he was told that his friend uses decorator's cork. So I thought, well, why not give it a go? And as of at the minute, now, it's taken the thin end of no time at all to do all of that. So this is now ready... I just need to fill these holes here. Um, oh, and just radius the edges of these dimples just so we don't get locked in. Um, this is ready for waxing. We'll um, leave this overnight just so all that white stuff goes off. Yeah, really impressed. So I'll write the na guy's name down here somewhere and link him in the description as well. And, um, as soon as I remember who it is, I shall thank you.